Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your day? How was your day? Good, so so busy, tidy. I am tired, teacher. <laughs> I imagine after a busy day of work, we are very busy. But you're gonna have um, a good time with your classmates. <laughs> I know it's Monday, it's the beginning of the week. <laughs> But we need to have a positive attitude, right? Okay, people, it's good to see you again. Uh, this is the class number. Let's see. Do you remember the number of this class? Number 10. Mm. 11. 11. 11. Yeah, oh, 11. It's the class 11. <laughs> we were very close, very close, Edwin. Okay, so let me share with you the class presentation. You will see it in a moment. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah, did you? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the class 11. And the objectives. In this lesson, participants will be able to listen to a conversation about family using present continuous. Well, we'll continue talking about the family. And also, if we have time, you are going to learn how to use quantifier and their meaning. So we have the following activities for family vocabulary is activity one, activity two, talking about my family, activity three, let's practice. We have a lot of practice and then the wrap. So those are the, the activities I have planned, I have organized for this class. So I need to take the attendance and please say present, say here and open your camera or turn on your camera when I mention your name. So we start with Alba Luz Mendez Campos. Present teacher. Thank you, Alba. Alexandra Patricia Arevalo. Present teacher. Thank you, Alexandra. <laughs> And we have Alma Yvette Aguirre. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Ana Beatriz Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana. Ana Yamilet Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana. Blanca Guadalupe Benavides. Present teacher. Blanca, Blanca Mireya Galdames. Present teacher. Bye. Caleb Ariel Rivera. Caleb? Is Caleb here? I don't think so. Okay. Carlos Antonio Castro. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto Rivera Orellana. Um, Cecibel Rodríguez. Celia Verónica Pleite. Claudia Beatriz Madrid. Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia. Cristina Claribel Chavarría. Present teacher. Thank you. Delmi Ramos. Thank you, Delmi. Edma Azalia Marina. Um, Edwin Hércules. Present teacher. Thank you. Efraín Emilio Acevedo. Okay, Efraín. I read your message. Uh, Evelyn Marroquín. Present teacher. Thank you, Evelyn Janet. Fatima Elisa Marroquín. Present teacher. Okay, Fatima, nice to meet you. <laughs> Some of you, it's the first time I see you. <laughs> Noemi Rivera. 
Eh, Fatima Noemi, ¿no? Eh, what about... Give me a moment. Hilda Beatriz Pineda. Ever Eliseo. Hi, teacher. Present. Good evening. Um, Héctor Adalberto Velao. Irving Guillermo Villar. Present, teacher. Thank you, Irving. Isaura Emelia Vázquez. Present. Thank you, Isaura. Jacqueline Guevara. Last Present, teacher. Thank you, Jaime Palacios. Present, teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Rinaldi Mejía. Present. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Jamile Geraldina Martinez. Okay. And I see Edma. Hi, chair. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Okay. Somebody Present. else that I didn't mention? Oh, Jamile. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Jamile. Thank you. Carlos, okay, Carlos, now you are here. Carlos Ernesto, he said present. Okay, thank you so much for connecting on time for the class. So we're going to start by um, filling a chart for vocabulary about the family. So you're going to help me to complete this activity we have in the family we have female members and we have male members for example if i say um, mom or mother is that a female member or a male member what is it female member it's a female, female member exactly <laughs> wait a moment i i told something here <laughs> Okay. Please, okay, female members. I'm gonna do it in another way. Okay, so mother is the female. Mother and the fa and the <laughs> and the male member is father. The father. Okay, can you tell me another female member? Grandmother. Okay, grandmother. So the, the equivalent, equivalent in the male members is the grandfather. Grandfather. Okay, grandfather. You can take notes of this in your notebook. Okay, mother, grandmother, father, grandfather. Another male member, female member? Sister. 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 Okay, sister. sister. Mm -hmm. And that will be brother. Brother. brother, brother, sister, and brother. Okay, another one. Brother, cousin, uncle, uncle is male, and the female aunt, 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 la tía, tía, uncle, right? Uncle. How do you say Uncle. sobrina? Niece. Niece, exactly. And in male members, that would be? Nephew. Nephew, very nice. Okay. How do you say hija? Daughter. Daughter. How do you say hijo? Son. Son, son exactly. Daughter and son. Mm, okay, what else? Mother in law. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's important to learn. Mother in law. <laughs> yes, mother in law. La suegra. Right? <laughs> and sister in law. Sister in law. Suegra? Father-in-law. Father-in-law. Father-in-law, exactly. Mother-in-law, father-in-law. 
Okay, and what about um why well, you were saying sister, right? Sister in law. Sister in law. And brother in law. Brother in law. Okay, and how do you say prima? Cousin. Cousin and primo? Cousin too. Cousin, okay. yes. Cousin, cousin. Okay, that's great. We have some messages. Okay, Caleb. <laughs> Very nice. So we have these female members, mother, grandmother, sister, aunt, niece, daughter, mother-in-law, sister-in-law, cousin. Male members, father, grandfather, brother, nephew, son, father-in-law, brother-in-law, and cousin. Mm -hmm. Do you know any other one? Other? No? Sister. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no uh -huh. How do you say nieto, nieta? Um, uh, grandson. Grandson. Nieta? Grandson. Granddaughter. 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 Yes, granddaughter and grandson, the boys, right? Grandson. And what is the plural of hijos? I mean, hijos in English? Child. Child. Child, Child. 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 is singular? Children. Uh, children. Plural is children. children. My children, right? Children. children. Okay, very nice. We are going to practice here with a very famous family in the TV, on TV, is the Simpsons. Do you watch the Simpsons? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. yes I watch. <laughs> yes, I like. You don't like? You don't like the Simpsons? No, I like. Not so much? Yes, I like. I like it. Oh, you like it? <laughs> I like it. Okay, my brother loves the Simpsons. It's his favorite sitcom. Okay, so Homer, who is Homer? Homer is the Our father. 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 Okay. March is the mother. Mother. Ah, uh, oh, well, we can change the father and the husband, right? Father and husband. And March is the mother and wife. And wife. Exactly. Mother and wife. She is Homer's wife. Lisa and Maggie are the children. Children. Sister and brother. Daughter. Sisters. Lisa and Maggie are the daughter. Mm -hmm. the daughter. Sister and daughter. Daughters. daughters are the daughters. And Bart is the son. The son. Bart what is, is sister. Bart is Patty and Selma. Nephew. Nephew. Very nice. Bart is. Patty and Selma's nephew because they are March sisters, so they are the aunts, right? Bart aunt. So Bar is Patty and Selma's nephew. Okay, over here we can see some examples of the use of the apostrophe. The How do you feel using the possessive? Como, como... Ya han usado los possessives antes. Have you used possessives before? Yes. No. 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 Okay. <laughs> Let My, me. My. Our. Yes. The apostrophe for possession. Okay. I will explain a little bit about that. Apostrophe for possession. Okay. We use the apostrophe. For possession to indicate uh, the relation, we can use to show the relation of people in this case. 
or to say that something is the possession of someone. Let's look at some examples. For example, Homer is March. Homer is March's husband. Husband, exactly. So March is Homer's wife. Exactly. Entonces, Homero es el esposo de March. March es la esposa de Homero. Entonces, el apóstrofe y la S me quiere decir de quién es algo, ¿verdad? Ahora, another example. Eh, Lisa's, Lisa's father is Daughter. Daughter. Homer. Homer. Uh -huh. Who Homer. is Lisa's father? Homer. Homer. Uh -huh. Okay. Who is Lisa's and and Bart. Bart. Who is Lisa's and Bart's little sister? Who is Lisa's and Bart's little sister? Maggie. Maggie. Yes. Exactly. Yes. It's Maggie. Okay. What else? Let me remember. If I say, who is Abraham? Who is Abraham? He is. Who is Abraham? Homer's father. Exactly. Father and father and father. He is father. Okay, he is Homer's father. Homer. Or Mark's father is no. There is an interruption. Somebody watching the news. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we were saying that we you we put or we add the apostrophe and s to the name of the owner. Le ponemos la apóstrofe y la S al nombre del dueño o de los dueños, ¿ok? Se lo vamos a poner al que lo posee, ¿ok? And, yes. well, uh -huh. Y en el caso de plurales, cuando ya llevan la S, no le vamos a poner otra S, sino solo le vamos a agregar un apóstrofe. I'll put it here. In plural nouns, we just add an apostrophe because it already has an S. En el caso que ya tenga la S. Si no tiene la S, entonces se la ponemos. Example. The students. The students. English teacher is who is the student's English teacher? Classmate. The student's English teacher is Rocio. Rocio, exactly. Okay, the students class, the students, miren, ya está en plural, the students English, English class is at 
8 p.m. Okay? So in this case, students is plural. We put the apostrophe after the F. Porque ya lo lleva. Ya lleva una S, entonces solo le agregamos el apóstrofe en plural. Hay plurales que no llevan S. Por ejemplo, the children. Children es plural, niños, pero no lleva S. Entonces se la pongo, apóstrofe S. The children's names are Maggie, Bart, and Lisa. ¿Ok? When you can take a screenshot if you want to have this information with you. ¿Ok? Yeah. No, maybe. Yes. So far, yes, so teacher. ¿Alguien que me quiere explicar lo que acabo de explicar yo? Sorry, teacher. Oh. Who said me? Me. Okay, Ana. Entendí que, que si el, la, el nombre termina en, con S, solo lo voy a agregar el apóstrofe al final. Y si es singular y le tengo que poner una S para hacerlo plural, va entre medio de la, de la S y el, el nombre. No okay. sé si está bien. Yes, it's okay. Eh, ok, son one else. Alguien que me diga para qué usamos el apóstrofe, para qué se usa. Para hacer posesivo algo. Exactly. Para decir de quién, ¿verdad? De quién. En inglés se usa mucho porque en vez de decir, por ejemplo, Homero is the husband of March. Es más largo. Los americanos o los ingleses siempre tienden a hacer todo más corto, más simple. Entonces, por eso usan el apóstrofe. ¿Ok? Good. So, are you ready for the next activity? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Good name. <laughs> ok, talking about my family. This is a picture of my family. I was looking for a picture in which all about all, all, all my family, but uh, in other pictures, one is missing. Or, but well, you can see here, this is my family, my close family. Uh, I have two brothers, two brothers. They are one in each side. And they, she is my sister-in-law, my other sister-in-law. Is my husband, my mother, my father, my grandmother, she's very little, and my niece. Okay, and this is a picture of my wedding. Well, um, in the picture you see my big brother, his name is Walter, he's a bank executive, and his wife is Jenny, and she works in a bank too, and they have one daughter, my niece, her name is Sophie, and she's very funny. Very funny. Okay, then in the other side, uh, this is my brother. His name is Giovanni, and she is my sister in law, Andrea. Okay, and um, he's my father. His name is Salvador. He's a truck driver, so he travels around Central America. He loves going to Costa Rica. That is my beautiful and sweet mom. She's very beautiful. <laughs> She's my mom and she is um, a cook, right? She's a cook, very good cook. And this is my grandma, my little grandma. Her name is Alejandra. She is 87 years old. Okay, and that's my niece, Sophie. She's eight years old. That's my husband, Eduardo, and that's me, okay? Um, so you're going to talk about your family in small groups. Um, you can share your family tree. 
Por eso les pedí el árbol familiar. I couldn't make it like a family tree, but I show you a picture of my family. So I want you to practice the vocabulary about family members and also you can practice the possessives. For example, I can tell you that Salvador is my father's name and um, Andrea is my brother's uh, wife. Alejandra is uh, Sofia's great grandmother. Es la bisabuela. Is that Alejandra is Sofia's great grandmother. Okay. Walter is Sofia's father. Jenny is Walter's wife. Okay. So you will work in small groups and you will practice speaking. Se pueden ayudar unos con otros si tienen alguna duda. Or you can ask me. You can ask for help. So please go to the groups and practice with your classmates the family tree. Talk about your family. You can make questions. How old is your mother? Uh, what does your mother do? What does your father do? What are they doing in this moment? You can make those questions. Ah, okay. Ya, ya vamos a, a mandarla una salita. Okay. A mí también me sacó, teacher. Okay. Me volvió a sacar pieza de dicha. Uh -huh. Carlos Castro. No me, aquí está. No le, le ha caído la invitación a la sala 4. Sí, dos veces me cayó invitación. La primera a la sala 2, la segunda a la 4 y en las dos en ambas me, me regresó. Ok, I uh, will try once more. Y las demás chicas, Alexandra, Ana Yamile, Irving, Emilio, Jacqueline, Fátima, Celia, Alba Luz, Palacio. Siempre, siempre nos saca, teacher. No sé cuál es el problema. No me ha mandado a sala. Teacher. Vale, entonces, pagamos algo. Ustedes se quedan en es, aquí practicando. Ustedes. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, ya están en su propia sala. <risa> Perfecto, teacher. Ajá, bien interesante. Ajá, que eso quiere Hi, decir teacher. que. <laughs>
No, continue, continue. Ok. <risa> ok. Uh, eso quiere decir que el salón es de ella. Porque Ajá. lleva el Ajá. apóstrofe y la S. Así es verdad, Ticho. Es algo nuevo. Ajá, algo nuevo. <risa> algo nuevo que aprendimos hoy. Cabrón. Sí, porque yo no sabía cómo se usaba. Siempre había visto yo también en la frase de inglés con ese apóstrofe con la S, pero jamás me imaginé que era posesión. Siempre me preguntaba qué el sí. significado de eso. Ajá. Sí, se usa también para <risa> la contracción. ¿Verdad? Para eso ya lo hemos visto. ¿verdad? En vez de ajá, decir, sí, la contracción, she, sí. Ajá. She is, she is. Pero también se utiliza uh -huh. para posesión, para indicar algo. Por ejemplo, dices, the teacher's cell phone. The teacher's cell phone. Quiere decir, la, el celular de la maestra. Uh -huh. mm, the student's book. Los libros de los alumnos. The student's book. Uh -huh. Así que qué bueno que ha sido algo en un tiempo. Sí, sí, la verdad que sí. Interesante. Sí, porque eso es como, ah, pero su posesión, pero cuando habla ya en plural, es lo mismo. Sí, también indica posesión. Lo único que la S va, no, el apóstrofe va después de la S. Porque ya lleva la... un... Uh -huh. Eso es en plural. Ajá, en plural, en los plurales que llevan S, como books, students, houses, eh, flowers, ya llevan S, ¿verdad? Solo le agrega el apóstrofe. Y ya. Y luego... Final, ¿verdad? Al final, ¿no? Solo al final. Ajá. En los singulares, book, le pongo el apóstrofe y la S, books. Así se va a pronunciar, pero uno sabe que es posesivo, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, uh -huh. Quiere decir, es para decir de off. Ajá, como le ponía el ejemplo, ¿verdad? De, the students books are blue. Uh -huh. Ajá, the, the books of the students are blue. Entonces, voy a decir, the books of the students, decimos, the students books are blue. Uh -huh. Súper interesante. Uh -huh. <laughs> ok. Uh, can you practice about your family, please? Ok. Did you Bye. make your family tree? Yeah. I forgot the homework. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But, but you can, but... do you have a picture of your family? You can show a picture of your family. Ok. Uh -huh. Okay. Hi. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Are you practicing? Are you talking about your family? Yes. Yes. Okay, that's great. Puedo escucharlas un ratito. <laughs> Eh, pues supuestamente ya dijimos nuestro árbol genealógico las tres. <ríe> A ver, ¿alguien que se anime? Me teacher. Ok, Blanca, ¿do you have a picture? Yes. <ríe> It's a draw, a drawing, ¿cómo es? Mm -hmm, a drawing. Right. Mm. Se le puede dar vuelta. Vamos a enseñar así, pero. Oh, very nice. Wow, it's so beautiful. Okay. Um, my grandfather. My grandfather's name is Francisco. Her wife. My grandmother. Her name is Juana. Uh, they are married. Mm -hmm. And my father's name is Oscar, mm -hmm. and my girl, my mother's name is Blanca. My the uncle's name is uh, Carlos, and my aunt's name is Lucy. 
para decir media hermana sería medium sister. Y no, half sister, um, step sister. Step sister, ok. Step sister My... es como mi hermanastra. Sería así. No. Ok, sí. My step sister, eh, my step sister name is Adriana. Uh -huh. uh, my cousin name, my cousin names is Mateo, and my cousin girl <laughs> is, no, <laughs> my cousin is Valerie, and oh. me. <laughs> Very nice, thank you, Blanca, thank you for sharing. Okay, any other one? Uh -huh. Somebody else? Stephanie or Blanca Miri? No, it's Blanca. Eh, Guadalupe, I think, right? Uh -huh. I, um, I, but I don't do the trip. You but didn't I can make tell. the family trip. But do you have a picture or you can see? Yes, it? I have a picture. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. Vacation. This is my mother and my mother's name is Susana. Mm -hmm. This is my middle sister and the, my middle sister's name is Roxana. And this is uh, my younger sister and the younger sister's name is Joanna. So you have two sisters. Yes. And you three. Yes. Okay. Nice. Are you the uh, you are this the first daughter? Yes. You're yes, the I first. am the older. Uh -huh. Um wait. Keep. Okay. What are your sisters doing? What are your sisters doing in this moment? At this moment, well, I just I live with one of my sisters, mm -hmm. and she's watching videos on okay. the cell phone. And my other sister, maybe uh, she lives in Usulután, and maybe she's watching TV, or I don't know, something like this. Okay, and your mom? Uh, maybe watching TV with my sister, too, in Usulután. <laughs> okay, I'm yeah, watching. TV together. <laughs> yes. So you are living here in San Salvador? Yes, I live in Santa Tecla with my sister and okay. other members of my family. Mm -hmm. Because you are studying or working in San Salvador, I imagine. Uh, at this moment, I am working and I'm studying, but I'm working. But I finish the university, but I continue with the, I don't know, how do you say, master? Oh, master degree. With the master degree at this moment, and I work. So you're working and studying at the same time. Great. Yes. And your sister? My sister uh, working and study too. Oh, she works and studies, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie, for sharing. I will okay. check another group and then we come back. Okay. Okay, Yamilet and Carlos, how are you? I'm fine, teacher, but anybody answer me. Oh, <laughs> nobody answers. Oh, nobody answers. <laughs> okay. Nobody answers. You make the family tree, or do you have a picture of your family? Mm, yes, I have with my phone, but I couldn't uh, share. It. I I don't know how can I do it. But I will. I I was practice alone here, and I tell and I can tell you that that I have. Uh, my father, he is 54 years old. My mom 
died three years ago. Um, and sorry. nowadays I have, thank you. And nowadays I live with my, my, my short family, my husband, my two sons. I have cousins, I have six aunts. Uh, also my, my mother-in-law is so great to me. Um, That's a blessing. A <laughs> That's great. Okay. That's it, teacher. Okay. Many things. Thank you, Yamila. We're going to come back. Okay. <laughs> How was the practice? How was it? ¿Cómo estuvo la práctica? How was the practice? Very nice. Very interesting. <laughs> very interesting, right? It's very interesting to know about your classmates' family. <laughs> okay. Yes, I was checking some of you. It was very nice. So thank you for, for sharing. Uh, thank you for sharing about your family, your family members. Okay, uh, we have more exercises and we have um, little time. So we're going to start right away with these exercises. And if we don't finish, you can continue them uh, at home. Okay, just give me a moment and you will see my screen in a moment. One, one, two, three. Okay, so in this exercise, we have another family tree. We have Thomas, Florence, Nathan, Sara, Leah, and Jay, Samuel, and Gabriel. We have Juliet and Felix and William, okay. And we have the use of the apostrophe here. For example, we have Juliet is Felix. Sister. Okay, Felix sister, very nice. Felix is Juliet. Brother, Brother. Okay. 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 Mother, okay. Samuel mm -hmm. is Felix. Father. 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 Okay, Jade and Samuel are the. Jade and Samuel are the. ¿Cómo se dice Wife. padre? Papá. Father. 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 Parents. 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 Parents, 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 no son parientes, vea, son padres, no padres, mother and father, yeah, okay, Jay and Samuel parents. are the parents of Juliet and Felix, or Jay and Samuel are Juliet and Felix parents, Juliet is Samuel's daughter, daughter, daughter. Okay. And Felix um, is Jade. So. So. Felix. Okay. Leah is Juliet. Aunt. Exactly. Aunt. Juliet is Leah's. Niece. Yes. Gabriel. 
Gabriel is Felix. Uncle. 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 Felix is Gabriel's nephew. Thomas is Juliet. Thomas is here. Grandfather. 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 Florence is Felix. Florence is Felix. Grandmother. Grandmother. And Juliet is Florence. Grandmother. Grand. Daughter. Daughter. Felix is Thomas. Grandson. Grandson. Yes, Felix is Thomas. Grandson. 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 And Sarah. No, it's just grandson because this is the father's. I mean, the, the, the grandparents, the parents, and the children. Um, okay, Nathan Grand. and Sarah, Nathan Grand. and Sarah are grandparents, grandparents. of Juliet and Felix. Okay, nice. We are going to check answers. And wow, you got a 10. That's great. Very nice, very nice. Another exercise. Okay, we have to complete the text using the words below. We have these words. You can repeat after me. Sons. 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 Parents. 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 Housing, family, 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 children, 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 I got a baby. I got a baby. Some. 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 I got a baby. Child. Child. I got a baby child. She's child. named son. Uh -huh. My mother. My mother. My mother. Parents. Parents. Yes. Parents. 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 Are my grandparents. There are neighbors. Their names are brothers. They got three children. One son, family, brother, one son, brother, one. Brother. Dice, ellos Mom. tienen tres niños o tres hijos. Una daughter. One, one brother. daughter. They have daughter. A one daughter and two. Son. Two brothers. Sons. No, sons. 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 Their daughter, daughter is my mother. Name. Her name's Jane. Jane. My father's called Jack. My mother's. My mother's. Brothers. Brothers. Exactly. Brothers. Are called Alex. And baby. And baby. Uncle Alex is married to Cynthia. They got one called Tom. One. One. Uncle. Uncle. Children. Housing. Nice. Housing. One brother. Brother. Let's see. Children, Alexis. 
this minute mm. I need more time because the compensation I think this is child <laughs> they got one child <laughs> and this is ah, uh, uh -huh. a baby okay. brother <laughs> um, a baby brother okay so they got one child called okay. Tom is my is my cousin my cousin Oh, We're talking about Uncle Alex is married to Sylvia. They got one child called Tom. Tom is my cousin. David is Uncle. Uncle. Uncle David. Uncle David is married to Sylvia. And they have two Children. And they got the children, Colt and Kim. And Kim are sisters. And they are also my cousin, Sylvia. Sylvia and Lucy are my aunts. I love my. Family. family. <laughs> very good. Yes, they are very nice. I love my family. And that's correct. Excellent. Congratulations. The last exercise. This is my family. Listen and read about Peter's family. Okay. No, se lo escuchan. Creo que no. No. No, teacher. Sus no, teacher. Please turn on. Okay, thank you. Two years old. He is a teacher. Sarah is my. Hey, 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 wait a moment. This is my. Tommy is my baby brother. This is my family. My father, John, is 40 years old. He is a teacher. Sarah is my mother. She is 35. She is a nurse. Gustavo is my grandpa. He is a doctor. Ursula is my grandma. She is 62. She is very nice. Tommy is my baby brother. He is one year old. He is always happy. Rebecca is my sister. She is six years old. She is very relaxed. I am Peter. I'm 10 and I love my family. I am Peter. I'm 10 and I love my family. <laughs> okay, so this is about Peter's family. We have to check the right answers. Uh, John is Peter's father. father. John is 40. 40. 40. John is a teacher. 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 Sara is a nurse. 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 Sara is Peter's mother. Ursula is Peter's grandma. grandma. Ursula is very happy, sad, or nice. 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 Ursula is? 61. 62. 62. 62. Tommy is Peter's? Brother. 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 Tommy is always? Happy. 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 Rebecca is Peter's? Sister. 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 And she's very relaxed. 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 Ah, you remember relaxed. that, right? She's six years old. She's very relaxed. And Tommy is always happy. Sarah is a nurse. Oh, I have a message. <laughs> Thank you, Emilio. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we check. We check our answers. 
And again, you got a 10. So excellent. Very nice. Congratulations. Okay. So how do you feel the topic of this class? Come on. How do you feel the topic of this class? Easy, difficult, so, so. A little difficult. I feel confused. <laughs> ah, okay. Yes, teacher. A little it's, bit confused. It's so, so. It's confused. It's very confused. El que, el que sienten que se confundieron. In family tree, for example, when in 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 the moment I can uh, I can understand very well when I talk about the uh, es mi es mi tía o es la esposa de but I need more practice. It's no, it's no difficult, but I need more practice. I'm, I'm be honest. Yes, I, yeah, it's a, it's a matter of practice. Les voy a poner unos ejercicios y los hacen de tarea para usar el apóstrofe. Lo que se sienten confundidos es el apóstrofe. Mm -hmm. Hilda? Yes. Okay. El apóstrofe. Yes, teacher. Yes. Vale, entonces le voy a poner ahí, vea. Por ejemplo, es The children of John. ¿Qué van a hacer? Van a escribir en la for, con, con the apostrophe. John's. John's. Yeah, John's children. Children. Mm -hmm. Sí, mira, sí, Voy a poner. Siguiendo de manera misma lo que se introdujo, se ha aceptado y respetado. Una recompensa por todo su esfuerzo. De Pushing Sam's Pushing. Pero como diciendo esta idealista sociedad, ha llegado a la oficina, se puede ver este cuadro. Un hombre sin cara, un hombre sin cara, representando el último chile a lo que se puede de hecho, su secretario ¿Sí? propone que no, pero simplemente. Me van a hacer esos ejercicios. Y eh, usando el, el apóstrofe sí, for possession. Ponemos un interruptor rodeado por una cinta de papel. Ok. No, okay. Una simple y concisa instrucción, la cual genera una necesidad de decir. No lo respetamos. Es necesario, como lo ve, lo tiene. Esto representa la necesidad de retenir el derecho de, de pasar por encima de la ley. Es como un proceso de la naturaleza, de emplear su talento. Y su you can take a screenshot or a picture of this exercise. Tomando forma, como se ha volvido. Exactamente como con Jim. Jim está repitiendo su especial. Solo en la vez va a salir brevemente. Mm -hmm. Can someone take a screenshot? Ganándose la aprobación, cariño de Jim. Yes, teacher. Good. You can share it also. Let's try. Okay, you do these exercises and we share the answers tomorrow. Okay? It was a pleasure to see you. I hope you have a great night. Uh, tomorrow we are going to learn about quantifiers. So it's a very important uh, lesson because in the final exam or there is an evaluation in the platform, you need to use quantifiers. Eh, igualmente, un recordatorio a poder avanzar en la plataforma y es la última semana, la última sección. Así que... Ahí les voy a escuchar. Mandaron una pequeña lista de lo que hacen. <laughs> okay. okay, bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good bye. Night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.